99, number 28. So we have an ellipse. And we know that ellipses go like... Well, actually, we don't know. Okay, the vertex... Actually, I, I got lucky. Um, here. I could kind of sort of graph my ellipse already. Yeah. There's a vertex that's at... Um, so because that's an ordered pair and that's the x value I know that I'm one, two, three, four, five. I know it's going to be a horizontal it's going to be longer, the major axis is on the x axis so that tells me a little bit and also the foci wouldn't be on the foci is going to be on the major axis which is the longer of the two so I got lucky when I wrote the standard equation y squared over b squared because it could have been the y y could have been over a squared so that's kind of a little um, template of what my equation is going to look like. One, two, three, four, five. So there's this little relationship um, between, remember it was like c squared equals, it wasn't a squared plus b squared, it's a squared minus b squared, wasn't it? Do you guys remember that or no? No, 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 no. Am I making it up? I might be. <laughs> C is the distance between the center and the foci. Does oh, anyone remember that? I do remember that now. Okay. A is just, you know, that number, which is actually, we can get that. We have that right now, don't we? Yeah. A is 5. What? <laughs> is it, what? Because it's going to be a 25 down here, right? Yes. B, we don't know what B is. We can find B. We can totally find B because we can know we know what C is. Yeah. C is two. One, two. One, two. Three, three. So, hmm. It says C squared equals A squared minus B squared. Miss Flynn said that, so I don't so know if that's even true. Wait, that's not right, huh? Is it A squared equals... Ah, okay, i got to look it up now. I, I said it wrong. We're on. Yeah, the way that equation set up, it's it's going to be too small. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, it's something like that. Well, gosh, why don't you guys just look in your book? Mm. No, it's okay. It came from less than 89, right? Or did it? Yeah, okay, so let's look and see what I'm trying to talk about. It's not saying it right. Less than 89. See, I just like shift the blame onto somebody else. It's, it's certainly not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> you guys should have memorized it. I was just a trying to trick you. There we go. Uh -huh. C. Hey, that was the same thing. A squared equals C squared plus B squared because I was just bring it over to the other side. It would have worked. <laughs> hey, I think I was right. Right? Isn't that what I had? So, if I add, so, okay. See? <laughs> I was totally right. You guys are trying to mess me up. Yeah, A squared is C squared plus B squared. So, okay, we'll just do it that way. A squared. I'm going C squared plus B squared. Okay. Now we can okay, so 25, uh, 25, 25 equals, equals 4 plus B squared. Mm hmm. Yeah, square root of 21. So that, um, let me make sure that's right before we keep going with because that seems suspicious. Uh, 28. Yep, that's right. So square root of 21. So that means this is just a 21 here. And then for me to finish graphing, I need to really know, like, I think I'd like to know the decimal for square root of 21 so I can figure out. So let's see, square root of 21. See, I wasn't wrong. I had it right. <laughs> 4.58. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4.58. It's kind of in the middle there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4.58. Okay, so I've, I'm graphing my ellipse. It's going to look all lumpy like it always does. There it is. And then what else? Is that all we had to do, or it probably wants more? What else does it want? I want it to know. Write it and graph it. That's all it wants. Yay! Yay. So there's my equation and there's my graph and that's what they want.